Welcome back to Assistant in German Academy. Let's talk about hypergeometric distribution. Hypergeometric distribution is one of those topics in statistics that scared many students because of the very name hypergeometric. In reality, hypergeometric distribution is just very much similar to the binomial distribution. The only difference is in the hypergeometric distribution, we are sampling without replacement whereas in the binomial distribution, we are sampling with replacement. The formula for hypergeometric distribution may seem complicated, but I'm going to show you two ways of solving our problem for today. One is by using our common sense analysis, more like an intuition on how to solve the problem, and the other one is using this formula that you can see on your screen. This problem will illustrate the characteristic of a hypergeometric experiment. A hypergeometric experiment is a statistical experiment that has the following properties. Number one, the sample of size n is randomly selected without replacement from a population of n items. And number two, in the population, k items can be classified as successes and n minus k items can be classified as failures. Let's illustrate what this means. Let's say a group of six female students and 19 male students apply for a scholarship program. A random sample of five people is drawn from a hat without replacement. What is the probability that four of the chosen students will be female and one will be male? So let's analyze this situation. First, it is mentioned that there are six females and there are 19 male students. So our big N here is 25 students. That's our population size in this problem. A random sample of five people, that is our n, small n, five, is drawn from a hat without replacement. Now, this keyword without replacement is very important to indicate that what we have is a hypergeometric distribution instead of a binomial distribution. Although in some instances, when there is some limit to the percentage of our sample, then the hypergeometric distribution and the binomial distribution are almost the same as each other. But technically, for hypergeometric distribution, we sample without replacement. Now, what is the probability that four of the chosen students, this is our number of successes, will be female? So we want four out of six students in the population and one male out of 19 male students will be chosen. So you can imagine now that you have this hat and the hat contains 25 names, and you are going to sample five students at a time, and you want these five students to be composed of four females and one male. So for a situation like this, what we are doing is what we call as a hypergeometric experiment. We are sampling N items from a population consisting of big N items, and we consider selecting four females as success and selecting male as a failure. So let's solve this problem first without using a formula. How do we solve this? Just by analyzing the situation. First, we need to recall that in order to find the probability of an event, we get the ratio of the number of favorable events divided by the sample space. And in our problem, it is said that we want to choose four female students in one male student out of a total of 25 persons. So if you now let our random variable x to be the number of female students in the group, then that random variable takes on the following values. It could be zero female, one female, two, three, four, or five females. And the probability that our random variable x takes on the value of four female can now be computed as the number of female students times the number of male students divided by the sample space. But how many females do we want to select? We said we want to select four, but we are going to select these four female students from the six female students in the population. So in effect, given six female students, we are selecting four. So this is the combination of six items taken four at a time. And since we want to select a sample of five people, 
Here, we already selected four female students. That means we need one more male student. And we are selecting this male student from the 19 male students. So we are now given 19 males, select one of them. Or we want 19 males combined one at a time. So you'll get here four females, and you'll get here males. A total of five people are sampled. Now, what is our sample space? Our sample space is there are 25 students and we are sampling five students at a time or 25 select five or 25 items combined five at a time. Now, let's compute now this given combination values. So six combined four at a time is equal to 15 and 19 combined one at a time is 19 and 25 select five is equal to 53,130, and 15 times 19 is 285, divided by 53,130, and that gives us a probability of 0.0053642 as the probability of selecting four female students and one male student given this situation. Now, how do we solve this if we are going to use the hypergeometric formula? So the formula for hypergeometric distribution is given by capital X takes on the value small k is equal to the combination of big K items taken small k at a time times the combination of capital N minus capital K items taken small n minus small k items at a time divided by the number of items in the population combined the number of samples taken at a time. So here our big N is our population size, our small n is the number of items in the sample or the number that is drawn in each trial. The capital K is the number of items in the population that are classified as successes and the small k is the number of items in the sample that are classified as successes. So clearly by just looking at this formula, it appears to be a complicated formula. But in application, it is not that complicated because you just have to identify these variables. So what is our capital N? Our capital N is the number of items in the population, which is 25, 19 male students and 6 female students. We are sampling 5 students at a time, so our small n is 5. And our success is when we selected 4 female students. And we are selecting these four female students from the given six female students. So our big K is six, and our small K is this four. And so, based now on the problem, and applying this formula, we just substitute these values to the variables, and again, we have this result, where this first one is the number of successes of selecting four female students out of six female students, and this second part is the number of failures. 25 minus 6 is 19. 5 minus 4 is 1. This means that out of the 5 samples, if 4 are female students, then the remaining 1 student must be male, and this 1 student is to be selected from the 19 male students in the population. And so we have 19 males combined one at a time. And then divided by all the samples of size 5, taken from the population of 25 students. And again, simplifying this, six combined four at a time is 15, 19 select one is 19, and 25 students combined five at a time is 53,130. And this is equal to 285 over 53,130. And finally, the probability that four of the chosen students will be female and one will be male in this given situation is 0 0.0053642. And this problem is now solved and explained. So going back to the problem, you do not need to memorize this formula. You just identify that if you want to find the probability that our random variable will take on the value k equals 4, that is equal to, first you identify the sample space, there are 25 students, and we are taking a sample of five students at a time, the successes will be coming from 
the female students and there are six female students and we are selecting four of them and then if you are selecting five students we already selected four here then the remaining one student should be taken from the population of 19 male students and that way you do not need to memorize this formula after here it's just a matter of computation and in today's world graphing calculator is ubiquitous or you can use your online calculators computing this expression is not that difficult you just have to key in these values so thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video bye for now